Hello, this is Deborah Yao with Black Education TV. I'm going to be talking about Christianity, and those of you who have followed my channel for any length of time know my position on Christianity. I was once a Christian, and those of you who hear me say that, and you're still a Christian, you're saying, how could you want to be a Christian and are a Christian no more? Most Christians assume that if you are no longer a Christian, that you've fallen into some some strange religion or that you don't believe in the most high of heaven anymore they don't believe that um, you um, can hear the voice of the most high they believe that you are just gone and that you have purchased a one-way ticket to hell that's because all of what they believe and know hangs on the religion of Christianity sadly most Christians have not even researched their own religion. Uh, we like to refer people to White It Out 3, which talks about Christianity in depth. So those who argue up and down about how being a Christian is the only way, they are presented with new facts that many walk away with a better, greater understanding of knowing that Christianity is of the devil. Yes, I said it. It is of the devil. And I'm not trying to enrage anyone or anger anyone. I'm trying to get you to research what you think you know. Because, like I've made very clear, both now and in the past, I still believe in the Most High God, as you call him, of heaven. I don't refer to him as God. I know his real name. And um, as many of you know, I like to ask this question just to give you something to think about. What is the highest praise? Most of you who call yourself Christian will say that hallelujah is the highest praise, right? Everywhere you go in the world, hallelujah is the highest praise. But do you know what hallelujah means? Hallelujah means praise ye Yah. Okay, praise Yah, that is his name. See, many of you didn't know that because your pastor didn't teach you that. Your pastor gives you a title of God. And so you're like, okay, well, we call him God. And you leave it at that. You see, you used um, titles like Father and, you know, things of that nature. And things that were right before you, right in your face, you just kind of brushed off and never even thought about. That's because Christianity has a specific demon attached to it that boxes your mind in to where you can't think beyond um, what your pastor teaches you or shows you. there are. I've heard Christians actually testify that they don't study their own Bible, that whatever their pastor says is what they go by. One woman who came into the truth actually stated that she hadn't read her own Bible in 20 years, that she merely follows along with the pastor in service, but outside of that she don't go home and read or study or any of that. So Christians are basically in a position where they cannot argue their position realistically. Now, for those that do read their Bible, Scripture says, in all thy getting, get understanding. Do you understand what you read? Do you go deeper than the text that you see? Because the Scripture also states, says, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Ruach, or the Spirit, is saying to the church. So that means the Most High is still speaking. It doesn't end with the 66 books. But Christians have been boxed in to the point where if you try to present or ask them any questions about anything that's deeper than their Christian knowledge, they will try to cut your head off. For instance, if you ask a Christian, what does the scripture mean when it says, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways? Now, the focus is on the main, the first part of that passage where it says, if my people which are called by my name. Most Christians will say, and I've heard this before, they say, well, he's merely talking about being called a Christian. If, mo, if my people which are called by my name Christian, that's not his name. The Most High's name is not, not Christian. I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm trying to get you to think. That is not the answer. When the Most High said, if my people, which are called by my name, look at the old patrons' names. There was nobody in the Old Testament called Christian. There was nobody in the New Testament called Christian until Antioch. And that was Christian as in poor fella. 
it wasn't Christian as in the name of Christ. Because the passage where it says, if my people which are called by my name, that's in the Old Testament. There was no Christian in the Old Testament. So what did he mean when he said, if my people were to call by my name? Look at the old patrons. Now, I just told you that the Father's name is Yah. Okay? The highest praise is called Hallelujah, which means praise ye Yah. And so when he says, if my people which are called by my name, look at the patrons, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Nehemiah, Hezekiah, Hallelujah. <laughs> If you look up their names, all of their names meant something as it pertains to Yah. Now, this is not for you to take this information and throw it out. It's for you to study and research. Why are you called a Christian? Where did that religion even come from? Most of you don't even realize that Christianity was handed to us by the same people who enslaved us. And they beat it into us. They handed us an alternative to the truth. Or should I say a replacement for the truth. Now, they did take our Bible. They did take the scriptures. And they twisted it like, this, like the most I said they would in the, in the book of Maccabees. It says that they laid open the book of the law and thought to change and paint the likenesses of their own images. So they presented us with this whole whitewashed Bible with whitewashed names, whitewashed text, whitewashed everything. And they even got us as the people of the book saying that it does not matter. You're telling us and you're saying that it doesn't matter while at the same time promoting the image that was given to you by your slave master. Why are you a Christian when the KKK are Christians? Do you believe that you believe in the same God as the KKK? Do you believe that? Many of you do. You think that you're serving the same God, but no, you are not. And all thy getting get understanding, the wool has been pulled over our heads. And any so-called black person crash, um, practicing Christianity anywhere in this world needs to have a wake-up call. A wake-up call to the truth. Because you have been handed a bill of goods. You've been fed lies. You've been taught lies. And all we are asking is that you research what you think you know. Because what you think you know is not reality. Christianity have us believe in all kinds of nonsense. Now the new push is not to just get you to believe in a whitewashed truth. The new push now is to get you to believe that the truth don't even matter. That's what Christianity is pushing now. To the point where some of the doctrines that were not tolerated 30 years ago are fine now. In Christianity, you better not talk against someone who is attracted to the same sex. In Christianity today, you can sleep with whoever you want to sleep with. In Christianity today, you can pretty much do whatever in the hell you want to do. And Jesus is going to patch it up for you, put a band-aid on it. That's what people are teaching today. And so even Christianity has backslidden. I'm going to say black Christianity in this, in this point. Even black Christianity has backslidden from the point where it was. Because now anything goes. And you are the one who's wrong if you talk against any of it. If you speak against the wickedness. You are the one who's wrong. Because... In the Christian Bible, it says, come as you are. Notice I said the Christian Bible, mean, meaning they pretty much penciled that in. They will find a, a scripture that sounds similar and apply it to mean that. They will apply it to mean that, that you come as you are. And you can go out the same. But you are right, though, because Jesus paid it all, right? That's what Christianity will have you believing. 
There is so much to this Christian doctrine that has our people so wound up, so wound up tight to where they are extremely religious, very religious, yet very hateful at the same time. It it amazes me how religious Christians are. I'm going to say black people in general because uh, we go from one religion to another. I'm not going to go off into the other religions at this point because I'm dealing with Christianity. But we take that same religious mindset and apply it to whatever new religion we go into. Even those that are atheists. (laughs) Being an atheist now is becoming a religion. And we take the same hypocritical attitude from religion to religion. That's how black folk roll. And if you try to bring them some truth, they will knock you down. Don't want to hear it. Not even in a position to defend what they know. But telling you you're wrong. If you are so sure about your Christianity, how come you're unable to defend it? Okay, I'm going to just leave that right there, family. Shalom.